Welcome to the Rebel Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. This tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can quickly add some brushes to Rebel. Now, when you uh, fire up Rebel, you see go there, watercolour. You've got obviously the various watercolour settings there, and you've got some brushes. Now, it actually comes with that just row of brushes there. Now, there's some other brushes that I've added. These eight, ten brushes are ones I've added. So, basically they can apply different sort of I'm just going to quickly show you the different effects. There you are. You can see the different, I can make it orange or something, you can actually see it a bit better. You just see that. So, and it nicely blends particular different ways. And there's another one there, and so on and so on. Now I'm using a mouse there, I'm not using an art pen. I could use a pen, and you can just see different results there. Now, so you could add your own as well. Now I've obviously created some sort of my ones, and you can use them with. That one, just going to go airbrush. I'm actually going to select that one. You can see a different result. Now the airbrush, particularly, those ones don't actually particularly work. So one brush that works for one thing doesn't particularly work for, say, like that airbrush is really nice. The ones I've created, not so great. Work better with the watercolour, so you can just see them there. Just select them there, and then just apply. Like that. You can just, so you just create different. Right, now, how to actually add them. That's the key thing. So, I'm just gonna to go to my finder now. If you're on a PC, probably different. I had, I'm not certain what the location is. So, probably you'll find it in something like Program Files, Escape Motion. It'll be in the subfolder of Escape Rebel function. So, I'm not certain. You'll have to obviously go and investigate, but also another possibility, it might be in the app data folder in your user account. That's another possibility. Well, on the Mac, it's in, if you go up here to go and you can go to your folder library, up, and I'm just going to bring that up. So that's the key thing, the library folder and application support there and escape motions, rebel and brushes. Now, once you've got there, there's the brushes, and I'm just going to quickly show you them using that, and you can see. Now the key thing here is they're actually they're 512 by 512, the dimensions for the brush, 512 times 512, and they're PNG files. So once you've actually done that, once you can create that, you just create these PNG files, and these ones are all created in like Photoshop and other applications, but just to create some interesting designs, like that one's an oil paint, that one's just using just, and you can, just obviously use a whole variety of different designs. Now, there may be some limits on the number of brushes you can add. I don't know, so there might be that. And then just apply them, and that's as simple as that, and create some amazing, wonderful watercolour designs in Rebel, which is a great application, which you should go and check out on the Escape Motions website. Uh, please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel, always adding lots and lots of tutorials every couple of days. And also, see, please visit the www.graphicextras.com website, I should say, before I go. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.